Hello everyone, Edo here. And Suyoi. And we're back. A Gundam tail. Wait, am I wearing different legs? I thought I used to float. Huh. Uh... Was that you or someone else that floated? Should be having... Oh, I have more side legs. Yeah, okay, never mind. That was Aeon. <laughs> right, and she switched out. And uh, this time, everybody remembered their weapons. Everybody brought their armor to the battle. I might be missing some shoulder guns. I'm not 100% sure on that one. <laughs> I might have gone those to the wrong people. Things may have shifted in the flight. Uh, don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Planescape Torment! I was recommending it in the last video. Yes. And I still do. What uh, console is it for? PC only, friend. PC only. <laughs> okay, so a computer game. Yeah, only a computer game, but it you, you don't have to go to Steam or anything. It's literally only on a CD. It might be on Steam, I don't know. Uh, it's one of those, like, kind of Diablo-style, like, top-down games. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know if you can be a magician in it. Like, I think you're only, like, physical. Then again, it's kind of a weird game. Like, you can have, like, a severed arm as a weapon. <laughs> Very weird game. Like, you wake up on a table in a place where they take the dead to, like, collect stuff out of them, like bones, organs, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Weird place. But, like, oh, you, you... Every time you die, you come back or something. That's okay, go save. Oh, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Every time you die, you come back. But this time you don't have, like, your memory for some reason. I don't know if that's, like, an every time thing. Like, mm -hmm. that's supposedly a thing. Is like, yo, know, you've died many, 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 many times before. And you're not always the same person when you wake up. Uh, you know, depending on your experiences, you... Uh, do I save on the next slot? Yes, on 10. Uh, like, you know, you, you've been, like, different people over time. So, when you start the game, do you, like, create your character or something? No, you always look the same. Okay, because that sounded like the perfect excuse to okay. basically have a character career. Like, you die and you come back, but you always come back D different. Oh, not physically. Never physically. Uh, but, like, you know, okay, so you come back. Like, hell, you meet a ghost in there that is, like, a previous love, supposed lover of yours that you basically betrayed. Because when, uh, you're literally past last, your last life, evil as hell. <laughs> Really bad guy. Hmm. And you betrayed her. Hard. Uh, so yeah, that happened. And you can meet her and talk with her and stuff. You can completely ignore her if you want. It's one of those, like, click games where, like, you know, you can click on stuff, do various things. Like, oh, you're wandering the town. Here's a harlot. Do you want to talk to them or do you want to attack them for no real reason? You can do that if you so desire. It will piss off uh, certain people, as in most everybody in the town. I, uh, since I was young, I didn't really know what the hell a harlot even was. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of, like, kept I spending all my money on them. Mm -hmm. They kept saying they could help me find something, and I didn't know exactly what they were getting at because I was naive and young. <laughs> and so they kept helping me find things, and the screen kept going to black, and I wasn't getting anything. I'm like, maybe it's bugged. Maybe I just keep trying. I'm losing all my money and not knowing it. Ah. So I spent all my money on hookers at the beginning of the game? <laughs> <laughs> because they were trying to help you find something, but they sucked at their job because you never found anything. Yeah. <laughs> Though, uh, your first traveling companion is a floating, talking skull. Mm. He's fun. Fun guy, he is. Talking with him is always a delight. Um, and, like, eventually, I think it's if you have good charisma, I know that at some point we keep doing it, he'll ask, like, can I get on on this? Hey, man, you know, just help brother out. And you're going to be like, would you? To the harlot, and you're like, oh, I'll do my best. And they try for all the... He comes back looking really shiny, I think they say. Mm. He's very happy. That's the last of them! We did it! We won! Hmm. I, I don't really know. I hardly wear the mask, Uh, I can't. That's not a good voice. I'm getting too much tremmy in that. I need a better voice. You can always go ancient Chinese. No! 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 I will not! Dishonor! Sam! Uh... Ah, I didn't read that line. Crap. No! Fritz! Don't 
can't run away! <laughs> what? You mean there's more of them? I'm getting a powerful reading! The boss is coming! <laughs> what okay. the fuck? There was water the whole time? Yes, underneath that bridge. Oh my gosh, it's a ball of some sort. This thing looks pretty cool. Yeah. Holy crap, it's flying around! This uh, is the Walter Gundam, if uh, I remember correctly. Walter? That's a silly name. Oh my god, it looks so silly. If it was less sproingy, I wouldn't think it was so dumb. Hmm. It's better than the Grand Gundam. Hmm. Well, well, if it isn't... Oh no! Major Reznor, you're still alive! What a relief. A relief. <laughs> Major Reznor, what's wrong with you? You're as foolish as ever, boy. How happy will you be to see me after I send you to your grave? Well, I won't be seeing anybody. I'd be dead. But that's not going to happen if you're anything like Akbar over there, that smoldering corpse we left behind. <laughs> mm, yes, this boss battle may actually pose a challenge. No, I don't want to fight you. Suit yourself. I'll put a quick end to your misery. Oh no! Major Esner isn't herself! But if we don't fight her, she's gonna kill us! Oh no! Accept it! We have to fight her! You're right, we don't have a choice! Oh, is she gonna range us? Oh, is she gonna range hey, it's us? It's not that bad. It's not like you're trying to kill your most beloved big brother. Yeah. Uh, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, Bazuli. Get in on this. You need to armor everybody up. Mm hmm. Fritz, get the hell out of here. Tremmy, you're speeding everybody up. This is Reznor we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold back on her. And you, you analyze. There we go. There we go. This is a good turn. Okay, so she's got the crappy self-recovery, too. But well, now we're all armored up and ready to go. At least everybody's faster than her, so that can certainly work to your advantage. That hurt. Mm. Okay, uh, get the hell out of here, uh, Buzzly. Back to me. Am I at full? Is this my full health? No, you're not. Okay, cool. Good to know. Ugh. Rig. What do I do? Uh, wait, is he teching? He's teching. Well, if you're teching, I'm punching. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if she can strike back with a melee if you hit melee. I would assume so, considering that you are finding another G Gundam mobile suit. That it has arms. Hmm. Was that the case for the others? It had arms. I'm trying to think about all the other mobile armors that you fought that had arms, but yet they didn't attack you. Like what? There was Zok, that's it. Right. The other ones have no arms. Mm hmm Wait, shit, we don't have armor up. Nor speed boost, oh shit. <laughs> okay, you charge. Huh. So does Life Fang have just front charge or... Uh, also extra charge. I don't remember. Out there. Oh, holy shit. I just realized a major problem in my planning. Okay. Okay. I'm still faster than you. I could do this, but what are you gonna do? Well, uh, she just powered herself up and is about to use boost. Zoe, let's do this. Everyone get ready to tank. Let's just learn what she's gonna do. Yeah, I remember it being quite damaging. Huh, so it's a physical attack. And it attacks one person. And it's so strong it nearly killed Bazooli while he was blocking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thought he had armor up. Yes. That's pretty strong. Now someone has a technique that stops that. Perfect barrier, I believe it was called. That was Aeons and I think it was too strong for what... Like, she can't use it right now. Barrier field, that's it. Can't use that right now. 
Hmm. Hmm. So, Hyakushiki. Let's just hope we all live. Wait. Doesn't he have one similar? Double shield or some shit? He has uh, double shield. Yeah, but he needs oh. shields on both arms in order to use it. And it only works on him only. Right. Ah, there was like a snipe move that stopped melee attacks. Yeah, but I uh, didn't... Uh... Vargas is the only one that has those. I'm sure someone else has it. We just uh, hadn't looked in to see who. Uh, I think it was Aeon, actually. Oh, well. Block him. You can only do that so much. Okay. So you're going to roll and attack twice. That's how you roll. That's just what you do. Okay. Now that's a very powerful move, mister. And I'm sure that you're very proud of yourself. However, let's just uh, reduce your attack and whatever. Hmm. Okay. okay. Going for the long haul, huh? Yes. Definitely going for the long haul. Figure it'd be like, you know, kill it with Gatling fire. No, no, not this. <laughs> I expected no less, Resner. <laughs> okay, let's lower that attack and that speed. Ooh, and some decent damage, too. And I full healed. See, that was a good move. That was a good turn. Oh, God. Okay, so you're going to do it again. Now, what I need to do is, uh... Get him the hell out. Now, you've lost speed, but your attack actually hasn't gone down? Mm, no, it has. I think I should use power up earlier. Oh, that explains a lot. Aeon, you come back in? Aeon, you use System Hack. I will go in with a... Uh, oh, no, wait. Uh, everyone's about to be... Okay. So, another full repair all is in order. And uh, might as well go in with a double attack. I don't think she'll die from it. He already has attacked down one. So he's not. she's not, like, as strong as she was. Yeah, but... Ha! I was thinking, why not have her charge? Because, like, her... Um... Uncle Ken has been doing like 2,000 consistently whenever you used it. Fair enough, but I'm going to be blocking the next few turns anyway. Hmm, I see. Oh, no. Well, that's not too bad, considering you weren't using techniques with um, Aeon or... Uh... Actually, I was using only consistently techniques with Aeon. Really? What were you about to use next with Aeon? Oh, well, fair enough. I had nothing else to use with her at the time. Uh, fear will go away eventually, right? Eventually. Faster if they're in the back. I think. I'm not too sure about that. Huh. Well, I could bring in Vazuli and unleash Hell for one turn. Mm. Let's do it. Need to do some damage. And, uh... <laughs> Is Vazuli piloting the Bawu? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. How did I not catch that before? Huh, uh, the Bawooly. Yes. I think, I think my brother told me to call it that. <laughs> also, if I use Counter Zone, I'll, like, make him ball me, won't I? Yes. And it, like, reduces the damage because I'm doing Counter Zone. Right. You should be blocking automatically, but still, you are basically directing damage towards yourself. Meh. I'm still blocking, though, right? I think so. Uh. Okay, let's, let's full repair. Oh, you can go ahead and charge. Got nothing better to do. Let's see what this does. Maybe it'll be good. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> For someone who doesn't want to fight, you seem to be enjoying this. No, Major. We don't want to fight you. Don't let her get to you! Oh no! Believe in yourself! We don't fight, we'll all be killed! We have to fight! We must! Yeah, this is... Not that good? Yeah, this ain't gonna be good. I kind of forgot that she did armor down, considering what's about to come up. It's fine, I'm armoring back up. 
Okay. What was she about to use? Boost or technique? Technique. Oh, so we have a turn. Okay, okay. You got a turn to prepare. What should I do? I don't really got anything. I need. Wait, therapy can uh, make fear go away. Hmm. Right, but uh, life thing. Ooh, I should make more energy come back right now. I mean, my TP for my because I've been using it all for healing. Oh, okay. And I, I, I could go attack for a good two thousand. Mm -hmm. But that'd be a bad idea considering what's coming up. She's gonna use a different move, isn't she? Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna... I'd go for it. Okay. The power of the fear of the spook fist. Every freaking time, and it dodged. Yes, that couldn't be any better. <laughs> Man, that speed really does make a difference. I know, speed is key, as Jack would say. Okay, so I'm going to direct that towards me anyway, so I might as well be beating the living shit out of her. Hmm. I have no reason. Why oh. not, uh... Oh, but we don't know what she's going to do. Right, uh, she could use a melee attack, or she could use something else. Okay, let's block. Everyone block. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> the unknown is scary. <laughs> so block. It should be stopped at the door. Ah, so, oh, yes, this move. Ah, 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 get out! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, that put the fear of God into you. <laughs> I don't know if it's God. I think it was just that thing. Mm. Mm. So I think she's going to do that again. Uh, so, uh, up to you what uh, you want to do here. Oh, well, wait, is she? Uh, she's going to use uh, boost again, isn't she? She's boosting something. I, I guess I could be stupid and like. Come at me, bro. Hmm. You're going before me, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm going first. Awesome. Well, let's hope you don't attack Tremmy with whatever you're going to do. Nice. <laughs> uh, I was actually afraid of you for a moment. <laughs> Why was I scared? <laughs> well, because you actually have respect for Reznor. Mm, that's true. But I started. I think I noticed something this fight. Mm. I think she had less health than Grand Gundam. She was just better at dealing damage. Ah. Grand Gundam was weaker, but bulkier, and mm. recovered, and that was a big point. Mm. The recovery barely mattered here because she was skinny and weak. Mm. What have I done? Major Reznor, is that really you? Oh no, it's you. You're the one who freed me. Are you okay? Get out of there, quick! Oh no, it's too late for me. Ejecting cockpits are not a built-in thing, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I've done. I hoped I'd be able to fight alongside you again. Major Reznor, say something, please, Major! Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> Didn't explode? Really? Huh. And you got a sensor plus three. Huh. So someone's getting a boost to uh, range. Yes. No, this can't be. The Major's energy reading has disappeared. So her Gundam died. Mm. Doesn't mean she died. We've won. Damn, we're too good. <laughs> With the Zeta, G I blame Vargas and the Zeta Gundam for this. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't that mean you blame Aeon since she's piloting the Zeta? No, I would never blame her. I've killed the Major with my own hands. Technically, it was Lee. <laughs> uh, actually, no, wait. It was someone who shot a bunch. Technically, Tremmy did it. Hmm. Although, uh, you know, uh, Life Aang did use her own hands. Mm. Every chance she got. It's not your fault. Oh, no. You had to. It was the only way. Look, what voice was I using for this? <laughs> Ancient Chinese. I was not doing that. Stop that. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, wait. That's right. I hadn't done it until now. Okay, yes. War leads to only tragedy. But never turn your eyes from the sadness. You must face it. Sadness gives us strength. You already know this. 
You won't go with ancient Chinese, but you'll go with that. You're right. <laughs> we have to move on. We don't have time for morning. It's noon anyway. High noon, I'd say. Come, everyone. Let's go. We're taking Isengrad for Major Reznor as well. Sadness. What's this? Everyone wait! She's actually alive! Oh, boy! They're faint, but definite! Vital signs! Major Reznor is still alive, but she's bleeding out pretty bad, and we're not going to be able to save her. She's alive! Yes, I'm sure of it! Alright! Oh, no! Aw, oh, man, look at us! We got all sad for nothing! We gotta help her out! Quickly! Come on, guys, let me a hand. Let's get her out. Huh. And so they did. But she was unconscious, her life slipping away, but we were able to get her. I was sustain them, but hope they went back to Marie's cabin. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. <laughs> fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Everyone listen up. She has been infected with something called DG cell Digi cells. Digi cells? What are they? A long time ago, there was an era called the Future Century. Ironically, this was in the past. A mobile suit called the Devil Gundam wrecked havoc during that age. Digi cells are extremely dangerous cells created by the Devil Gundam. So it was Satan. <laughs> yeah, it just really surprised me the first time I came across it. Because back in the day, I only saw the animation of G Gundam, which the Devil Gundam is from. Oh. However, this was back during those days. They were like, you can't have a Gundam called Devil Gundam? So they called it Dark Gundam instead. Ah. And back there in those days, Burning Gundam was God Gundam. Ah. So it's like a virus. What happens when you're infected? You go all evil. You turn into a fugu state in which you become poisonous in most areas. And you get all angry and you don't think about what you're doing. In essence, you become like a zombie-like killing machine except you talk and you don't really crave brains. That's pretty bad. I can't believe the records were true. Is there any way to cure her? No, uh, maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> well, I won't let her die, you can count on me. That much I promise. Thanks, Marie, you're our only hope. I'll look after her. I'll let you know if she regains consciousness, and then she'll be all evil and trying to kill me. We were just leaving that in my house. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know... Dark Gundam is some pretty serial stuff. Oh, no, you don't. That room is off limits. Major Reznor needs rest. Damn. Do doing everything that can heal her, so don't disturb her now. Oh. So, might as well just fix up your mobile suits and restore all your TP. Yeah. And also, afterwards, go to Marie uh, to see who could use the uh, sniper stuff. But, yeah, I mean, like, DG cells, that's basically nanotechnology right there. And G Gundam, it kept the pilots alive and healed them over time. It basically gave them eternal life. But uh, a person who came into controlling the Master Gundam... Dark Gundam. No, Dark Gundam. Used it for evil. Well, yeah. And so was using them to control other pilots and stuff to fight for them. And so, that sucks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was what it was. Uh, they used uh, technology to make... Um, cancer cells that specifically targeted uh, Devil Gundam cells. That way they're actually able to kill Devil Gundam stuff. Otherwise, you just have stuff that's just continuously regenerating on a nanomolecular level. That's pretty crazy, yo. Yeah. I mean, the only way you could beat that if you, if you were like a super robot or something. So it was a good thing G Gundam was a super, uh, you know, robot war series. Snipering, snipering. Okay. Well, doesn't someone already have like a sniper thing on them? Yeah, you said you said to go to her to look at it. Why? Uh, to You're, you got some optional parts. Sniper Sense Three. Oh, you Pretty mean sure. sensor module? Yeah. Pretty sure someone already has like sensor module two. So you know, switch that out for like a quick, easy upgrade. You sure it was sensor yeah. module? Sensor three? plus. Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, two hundred and five. One second. Use on Bazuli. Sense module, sense module. The only other person who goes to blasting would be Fritz. 
but uh, he already has that stuff. Yeah, you got a good point. So, Fair enough. I guess uh, Bazooly it is. Yeah, so, like, you know, when I saw that in this game at first, I was like, oh, shoot, stuff got serious. I mean, like, uh, they have tech from all over the place in this game, but I was thinking, you know, nano machines, son. That's yep. some, like, serious stuff to, like, be contending with. And, like, Reznor's infected with that stuff. Unless Marie is good enough to, like, you know, nano machine cancer nano machines to, like, defeat Devil Gundam stuff. She ain't gonna be curing that. Yeah, she ain't gonna be curing that. And, like, the world is in danger. Just Because that's out. Yeah, because that's out there. It's machines that specifically interact with nature. Well, that sounds like something that Neo's Arth would be using. So, I was like, oh, great. So, all of our enemies have, like, auto-healing on them, and they self-regenerate and self-populate. That's the kind of enemy that we're going up against now. Well, there's only one way to deal with this. Hmm. Murder the living crap out of the guy who's in charge. Once they don't have anyone to follow orders with, what are they going to do? Come back to life? Oh, well, I mean, kill him good. <laughs> okay, that might work. Where's so, the base here? Uh, to your left. Do you not remember? No. Oh, yeah. now I do. Yeah, I remember how I got onto this island in the <laughs> first place. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slant. Okay, fine, I'll do it on the other side. Ha, yeah, tricked you. <laughs> I never really considered that. <laughs> I have to be on your side. I'll be on each side. I damn well please. I always went to the other side until I found that one perfect spot that you <laughs> needed to be on in order to actually. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> There's no safe spot on this side. Yeah, you you should save uh, before going in there. Okay. Because... I like the spikiness of the boo. -woo. <laughs> yeah, I like how it looks like a star. Uh, but man, I should not have come to this side. <laughs> you went to the wrong side. <laughs> it probably would have said it was locked or something anyway. Yeah, probably. But yeah, you know, I was just wondering, well, shoot, man, how's this game going to handle that? And it's around like a bit, an hour after that point that I kind of like got sidetracked by other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's usually the point I would kind of like get to. As like after rescuing Reznor, it was like, oh, God, devil guard them to be continued. Oh boy, mm. I hope we live. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, this fight, it's uh, not as numerous as all the other ones. In fact, if you're good enough, you just may be able to, like, beat all four forts in this recording. Wow. Mm. Okay, let's uh, switch this up correctly. Mm -hmm. Yay on in this, and I always like to be there just because. Right. Although, in my opinion... The boss you're about to come up against is the hardest one out of the four. I can't move. Stay away. Do not approach. I do not want... I don't want to kill you. What? Who are you? Oh no. You. Go. You. Must. Flee. Oh no! We lost the signal! That person knew me. Who was it? Is it Miss Natalie? Holy shit, that'd be amazing. <laughs> It does not matter. We have no choice but to fight. Fate calls us to battle, and we must answer the summons. No, I just like the head cannon that she's actually whispering to that little dragon on her shoulder and it's speaking for her. <laughs> <laughs> like the voice is coming from the little golden dragon. No matter what happens, you aren't the only one responsible. Don't blame yourself. We're going to do this together. Let's go. Mm. Yes, we have Whoa. blood on all of our hands. I mean, some of us tried to attack orphans. <laughs> Yeah, what, what do we know? Okay, so uh, beat these two battles and then save. And then. Ah. <laughs> and then, like, uh, oh, afterwards. I fought you before? Yeah, apparently. When did that happen? Yeah. And then afterwards, you can just go straight into the fort and straight to the boss fight. <laughs> but since you're out here, it was like just mega bomb them all to death. Yeah, okay, fair. Oh, God, that's a heat hawk. I'm switching out. I ain't going into that. Yeah, just, like, just bombard them. You're not in the fort, so you're free to leave whenever you want and just refill your TP. Ah, uh, good point. <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, Devil Gundam, scary. But I felt like we got sidetracked off of something. Landscape Torment? 
Ah, yes. Uh, Planescape Torment. How does a skeleton do to do? I don't know. It is not a skeleton. It's literally just a floating skull. Does it have, like, ethereal purpy, uh, purple mist, like, around nope. it? Nope. It is literally a floating skull. Like, no strings or smoke or mist or any voodoo, just a floating skull. Yes. Okay, so we can't even say that it skull the hand or some, like, it, uh, purple magic a hand, like a gastic can. Nope. Oh, hey. Look what you're doing, big boy. Oh, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Then again, you're no boss, let's be fair. Yeah, that's about right. Mm. Eh, okay. Everyone just attacking it should uh, do fine. Please, I don't even need to do that. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and shoot it with everyone. Just, you know, have a little input, I suppose. Let's be fair, it's probably gonna die from one. <laughs> well, you know, just gotta be extra sure. Uh, I can go ahead and kill it. Oh, ten! Nice! Hmm. Go ahead and kill this last guy, right? And fortunately, we've now run out of time. All right. So go and save it, and we'll be conquering the last of these forts in the next episode. All right, we'll see y'all later.